Hello everyone, and in this video, I'm going to be ranking animals that I could beat in a fight. Now, we're going to establish some ground rules here. These are fights to the death. No holds barred, but I'm not allowed to come in with any equipment. I'm not allowed to come in with any weapons. I'm not allowed to come in with... Basically, I'm going in naked, just as they are. Me and the animal are meeting each other in a park naked. From there... Maybe I can find a weapon or do something or use the environment. I can use different tactics. But actually entering this fight, I'm not getting to prepare. I'm being dropped in there naked with no preparation. Those are the ground rules. And the winner is the person or animal who leaves alive. Okay? There are no draws here. It is whoever dies first is the loser. And so that's how we're ranking these on this scale. And uh, to start with, we're going to go with this little, uh, this puppy, this dog. Sorry, folks, for all you dog lovers out there, but I would definitely kick this dog's ass. It would be pretty easy, honestly. I'm going to put it, like, all the way up here. I might, might even turn it around so you can see its little face, because it's going to cry. But, yeah, you know, I'll run up and I'll, I'll, I'll kick that dog to death. No problem. No problem at all. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, next up, we have this pig. Right, now the pig's going to be a bit harder. It's going to be a bit harder to just kick because they're big fat things and uh, much like myself. And it's not going to... I don't feel like running up and kicking a pig is going to do all that much damage. I feel like, Have you ever, like, touched a pig? They're quite solid animals. Um, I don't think it's going to kick my ass, if I'm being entirely honest. Uh, there's no way this pig's going to do much to me at all. Like, I could just step over it and sit on its back and punch it in the head. It might take me a while to kill it, so maybe I'll tire out. But it's certainly going up here somewhere. It's just, but there's no chance this pig's going to do anything to me. There's no way in hell this is going to kill me. So it's going to go here. Uh, next up, we're going to go with the cat. Now, the cat's probably got more chance than the dog because the cat could, like, jump up and, like, scratch me. Uh, and like infect me or something like it could get a good hit into me it could I feel like the cat's harder to catch as well they're going to be very elusive uh, but still I don't see the cat really kicking my ass maybe like it could it could scratch me and infect me and then I'll die like a week later but actually on the day that this thing's happening I'm going to kill that cat before I leave like that that's going to happen the cat's not going to kill me before I kill it and so for that reason the cat's still going to go, like, maybe a little bit more deadly than the pig. So, like, here, maybe? But I'm still, I'm still going to kick that cat's ass. Next up, we have a kangaroo. And now, if kangaroos were real, which they're not, like, we all know kangaroos are robots at this point. We're all very much aware of that. Uh, if they were not robots, they would be even easier than they currently are. Um, as robots, obviously, they're going to pack a good punch. And they're going to be quite hard if you hit them. They're going to not be very comfortable to hit. I'll be fair. This one's probably towards fair fight. Maybe even in the middle of fair fight. Because these things are big. They're fast. They're strong. And if I'm approaching in there naked. I feel like this thing could get the jump on me. But I still feel like I'm going to emerge victorious here. I'm going to put it in fair fight. Next up we've got real stream news. So, sorry. Blobfish. Um, yeah. This thing's easier than the dog honestly i'm just gonna like step on it and it's dead uh snail snails are honestly they're pretty fucking gross like i don't even like the idea of stepping on these things if anything this might be the one thing that is definitely going to kick my ass because i might like we're going till the death right i don't know how long snails live how long do snails live for all i know snails live like a hundred years and in that case, I'm not going to stand on this thing because they're disgusting and I don't want to... Yuck. So, I'm going to, like, run away. And then maybe the snail outlives me. Because they're slow. And sure, don't, like, slow things. Like, their, their aging slows down. That could be... that. You know, that could be a shout. Like, if I want to live forever, all I need to do... Is... Move... Slowly... Use less energy. 
No, that's... Honestly, that that's painful to do. I don't know. There, all I know is there's no way I'm going to stand on the snail. So I'm going to put it in here somewhere because it just depends if that snail outlives me or not. But it's never going to kill, kick my ass itself. It just depends like if it outlives me or not. Uh, next, we're going to go with the swan. Uh, swans are quite terrifying, honestly. One bit my finger when I was a child, and I've been terrified of those for, like, most of my life. And so for that reason, I'm going to put it... I don't know. Does this, like, motivate me to go out there and, like, beat the shit out of it? Or does that mean I'm going to be scared of it and it's going to get the jump on me and just maul me? This could be a fair fight, folks. Emu... Yeah, I'm going to wipe out the entire emu population, no question about it. Like, this thing's going up here, it's just as easy as the dog. You know the whole great emu war in Australia, where uh, these two guys with machine guns lost a war to a bunch of dumb birds? Yeah, that's not going to happen with Rag Reynolds. If they really wanted to win that war, all they had to do was give me a call. Send me in there. I don't even need a machine gun. I'll go in there with my bare hands and wipe out their entire population of emus. Not a problem. Those things mean nothing to me. They are bums and I will stomp them. Llama. Llamas are terrifying and vicious and I don't fancy my chances. Beaver. Look at this little sly fuck. Look at him. Look how creepy he looks. It's definitely going to be harder than the cat, that's for sure. I'm going to put him in here. Uh, cow. I feel like a cow's a hard one. How do you kill a cow? How do you beat a cow with your bare hands? Like, you could try and run in and tackle its legs, but it's a big strong thing, and as soon as you, like, grab hold, it's going to go and freak out, and it's going to stamp on you and probably kill you. That thing's... That's deadly. That's going up there. Crocodile. I don't see my path to victory, honestly, versus a crocodile. It's not like I can choke it unconscious. I can't really do much. I don't have a weapon. Even with a weapon, I don't see my chances very much. That thing's probably going to just maul me and I'm dead. A frog. Sorry, frog, but you're super easy, just like some of these other guys up here. I'm going to have to shrink you a little bit and we're going to put you here. Frogs are really easy. I can just stamp on it and it's dead. Unless it's a poisonous frog. If it's a poisonous frog, then it's got a bit more of a chance and then it comes up here. So let's put it here. A lion. I feel like I've got more chance against a lion than I do against a cow. Because from my understanding, like, lions, like, especially male lions, which this is, they're really lazy animals. It's the women that do all the hunting in these, uh, in these packs, these pride of lions, whatever. So I feel like the, the males may be too lazy to fight. All I need to do is, like, jump on its back and ram my fingers through its eye hole sockets and blind it now what's it gonna do cry like a little bitch to its mummy cry for its wife to come help it well it's just the two of us son it's just the two of us what are you gonna do now when i choke you unconscious you've got a windpipe i'll grow out my fingernails before this starts and i'll be like Ch and slice you yeah i'm gonna put the line maybe on this side of fair fight because maybe it gets the jump on me because they're quite fast and they're strong and i'm not convinced that my killing moves gonna work but it's not gonna be as hard as like a cow elephant okay sure an elephant's probably gonna kick my like what can i do to an elephant i was trying to think i mean it probably depends on the the environment here if i'm like in some sort of environment like a park I'm doomed. I'm doomed in a park. Because the elephant's just going to charge me and stomp on me and I'm dead. Right? But if I'm in, like, in the middle of a city or something, I could, like, run through skyscrapers or buildings or something and this elephant chases me. It's going to hit into buildings. The buildings will collapse on the elephant and kill the elephant. And I'm going to win. So, I'm going to actually put the elephant, uh, like, easier than the lion. No. On par with the lion. Because it largely depends on environment, I think. Because I could lure the elephant to, like, somewhere else. I think elephants are quite stupid. I could, like, lure it somewhere and have the environment take care of it for me. Giraffe. Right. 
Giraffes can't be that hard. I know they're really tall and they've got big long necks, but have you seen these things? Like, if you've got a big neck, isn't that just a huge target to slice with something? And I know I didn't come with a weapon, but I could probably, like, run off, use all my energy running off to grab something. Even if I get, like, a big stick that's, like, pointy and sharp and I just, like, launch that at the, at the giraffe's neck. Like, I feel like their, ne their necks can't be all that tough. There's such a big long neck, and if you cut that, surely it's just going to choke and die. I'm not sure how fast these things are. I don't think they're very fast. I'm going to put it, like, on par with a cat. Yeah, I think I'll put it here. Uh, octopus. That, that thing's terrifying, honestly. I think it's going to be, like, up here with a cow. Like, this octopus might be the bane of my existence. I don't see what I'm going to do to this thing. From my understanding, you cut off, like, its leg and it grows back or some shit. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do against that thing. Squirrel. Squirrel's easy. I'm going to kick the squirrel's ass. Uh, it's maybe... Yeah, it's going to be probably... A bit harder than the pig. Because it's going to be faster. It's going to be a little bit vicious. It could have rabies or something. Who knows? Bear. The bear's probably harder than the lion, I'm going to say. The bear's going to go in here somewhere. Uh, I think I'm just kind of fucked if a bear comes for me. Like, they can climb, they can run, they can swim. Like, bears are not to be fucked with. A shark. Right, if I'm meeting a shark in the park, this shark's doomed. Like, there's no way this shark's getting the best of me. I mean, we're on land. This is my turf, shark boy. My turf. Nothing you can do to me on land. Like, this is maybe the easiest fight of them all since it's on land. Like, what is a shark going to do on land? Nothing. Meet a shark in the park? No need to run away. I'll fucking destroy that thing. A horse. A horse is uh, very much like the, the cow almost, but not quite as strong, I guess. Maybe it's stronger. I don't know. They're fitter, I guess. Let's put the let's put the horse here on par with a cow for the same reason I said before. Like, how what am I really going to do? How am I going to kill a horse? It's going to be hard, right? Rattlesnake, oh, right? Easy peasy. I grab it by the tail. I swing it around my head a few times and let go, and it goes wee, and it lands somewhere and it's dead. Easy peasy, done. Like, not a problem. Put you here. Uh, eagle. This is going to be a hard one because it could fly, and maybe it just wants to like outlast me in the air the only thing is i don't feel like it's going to kick my ass like maybe if i get tired and i fall asleep on the ground and i'm like and then it comes down and it like pecks my throat and i die i'm gonna put it here uh penguin i like penguins or maybe my favorite animal but sorry you're you're gonna get your ass absolutely handed to you uh penguin boy you're there's no way you can do shit to me I'm, it's getting quite hard here to fit all these things in. But yeah, penguins are going up here. Uh, chimpanzee. These things are terrifying. Look at that thing's face. That's actually disgusting. It's like a little old man. I actually think that thing's going to like rip my neck to pieces. I think this thing's going to slaughter me, if I'm being honest. Look at the gorilla, though. Oops. Look at the gorilla. Gorilla is just like a bigger version, even grumpier. That that one's like creepy. This one's like grumpy. Yeah, I I really have no idea what I can do to a gorilla. I think the gorilla is gonna fuck me up. And finally, we've got a deer. I feel like the deer is easier than like a horse because they're like this gentle thing, or people say they're gentle. I mean, they're so stupid. They stand in front of cars all the time and like get hit and die. I feel like it's gonna be really easy to outsmart a deer. All it's gonna do is be startled and run away from me. So I'm going to put it up here somewhere. The question is catching it. And for that reason, it's maybe like a little bit harder than the squirrel. But there's no way that thing's going to kick my ass. Anyway, folks. This is it. Our tier list of uh, animals that I could beat in a fight is complete. And so we have established here that the easiest uh, fight is going to be the shark. The shark on, uh, the shark on land. Oops. That shark's going to be the, the easiest fight for me. And the hardest fight for me is going to be the crocodile. And I think that's a pretty fair assessment of all this. Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.